got started writing about charities, charity managers and charity fundraisers uh, in the early 1980s when a financial planner client of ours asked me to do a newsletter on uh, tax-wise charitable donation. Our work on the financial planning letter brought us to the attention of uh, people in the development department at the University of Guelph. They called us and asked us if we'd be interested in doing a newsletter for them and we ended up producing our first plan giving newsletter, Partners. And before we knew it, we found ourselves producing uh, over a dozen plan giving newsletters and found ourselves knee deep in the nonprofit sector almost accidentally. So, Jim Hilborn, Yay. Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> Absolutely, so well deserved, a man who has dedicated so much of his professional life to our profession. There's no question about it. I mean, you think, you look at Canadian publishing, we celebrate Jack McClellan, you know, Canadian authors. Really, there would be very little that exists in Canadian publishing, Canadian fundraising publishing, if it wasn't for Jim and Civil Sector Press. Absolutely. And we, the, the McClellan Stewart is a perfect example. You take a small market already, and then Jim has an even smaller segment within that market and yet doesn't you know doesn't get himself concerned with that he says this is necessary Canadian approach to nonprofit Canadian approach to fundraising needs to have a forum for discussion of best practice he encourages you to do your best he encourages you to to put what you're thinking on the page I mean when you look at Jim Hilborn and you see the graciousness that he carries out his life his professional relationships, his personal relationships. I mean, it's hard to meet a man who, who continues to do that. Fundraisers are a disparate group across the country. And Jim provided the wherewithal to, to unite us, to, to feed us information, to allow us to talk to each other. First there was Canadian Fundraiser and then Hilburn E-News, uh, Gift Planning in Canada, those kind of publications and they became a lifeblood for we fundraisers and allowed us to grow as an industry. And for that, Jim, thank you. So Jim, it's your day, and we want to say congratulations. congratulations. When Denny and Gail called and told me about this award, I have to say I was, to use a term of Gail's, that she would know, I was gobsmacked, as they would say in Newfoundland. I feel supremely grateful for having had the opportunity to be part of your sector, to be part of what you do. I don't think I could think of a richer way to have spent my career than working beside, with, and among you amazing people. Thank you very much for this honor. Mm -hmm.